<laughs> hey everybody, here we are again, and it's a Mangrove Jacks New Zealand Brewers Series American Pale Ale. Bit of a mouthful. Not that one. The name. So, it's one of the Mangrove Jacks King Kilos. That's the box that it came in. From the lid, I've taken the usual cut out to put on the fermenter and then onto the barrel so you know what's in there. So then I know what's in there, you don't know what's in there because I'll have drunk it by the time this is up. In the box. It's nearly done already. We're doing this late. We had pre hot malt. 1.7 kilos. We also had a packet of yeast. Beer yeast, it says. Didn't use it because I reused my SO4 yeast as usual. Apart from a few bits of cardboard that came off the lid, that's it in, in the box. You pull that down there. So we'll go with the facts and figures. There we go, I found it. Put my glasses back on, can't see with my glasses on. Can't see close up. Ignoring that, that's just a notification. I think I know what it's about. Starting gravity was 1.046 at 17 degrees C. Finishing gravity, quite low, 1.006 at 19 degrees C, which gave a rather high ABV of 5 point, approximately, 4.347861% ABV. Cost of the kit was £13.95 plus 65p for a bag of sugar. Use standard table sugar as usual. I'm doing all these kits with standard table sugar if it requires it. So that they're all the same because the standard table sugar is the easiest to dissolve and make the kit. Some of the other sugars, dry malt extract especially, here's a pain in the neck. Get it to dissolve. Right. Let's have a look at it. So, crystal clear, as I would expect. It's a light golden colour. You can get a head on it, but it doesn't keep a head. It barely keeps a ring and doesn't produce a right lot of lacing on the glass. So, aroma wise, not a right lot. Bit of a beery smell. Not really getting any hop aromas. No, there's a bit of a multi pale multi type smell nothing spectacular it's a light beer isn't it give you a quick flash with the torch because I've not already done so and we've already got to do that aren't we eh? so let's give it a bit of a taste it's all about the taste Not a right lot going on. There's a ever so slight sweetness and a slight slight fruitiness. That's about it. And then it dies down into a, a gentle bittering.
maybe a very subtle pale malt type flavour. Mouthfeel wise, not too bad, I'd say about a medium. There's nothing really watery. You've got the main bit is the bittering. The bittering does kick in quite early. You've got this fruitiness up front and then the bittering comes in and it sort of doesn't really build, it just lasts. Still there about now. Not a bad beer, not a bad price, not a good beer, but £14.50, not the cheapest out there, and not the most expensive. It's just a little bit of a mediocre. To be honest, all of these pale Mangrove Jacks kits, I don't think I can tell the difference between them. Slightly fruity, slightly malty, a bit of bittering, that's about it. What about it again? Not really. It's alright for the price. Not too expensive, unlike some of the others. It does produce a beer that's... It seemed to have... Brewed out rather well and has produced a strong beer. <clears throat> I don't know what it says it should be on the box. It says it should be approximately 4.4% ABV. Final gravity, it does say, is 1.006. And that's what I got. But the starting gravity was 1.046. I don't think it gives starting gravity. Gives optimal fermenting temperature. The final volume of 23 litres, so it's a 40 pint kit. Boiling water 3 litres, as usual. Uh, it says ABV 4.4 using 1 kilo of dextrose. A kilo of dextrose shouldn't make much difference. If anything, no. no, don't think it should make much difference. But standard table sugar makes it stronger. What about again? Right, like and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.